Good evening, guys. Good evening, Jose Francisco, Luis Humberto, Mauricio, Katia. Good evening, teacher. Oscar Humberto, good evening. Good, evening. good night, teacher. Perdón. Good evening. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Right, so it's eight o'clock, so we are about to start. So, but we are going to give just two minutes to our classmates to join the class so we can, you know, start with the first activity for tonight. So, tonight it's our last class, our last class, people. And, um, you know, I'm sad because I won't see you anymore, but I'm happy because you already finished another level, right? So, congratulations. All right, and let's practice and participate a lot tonight. All right. So let's see, let's see. Just one more minute here, waiting for everybody else to join the class. Let's see, let's see, one more minute. Nobody else has joined the class yet. All right, let's see what happens. Or I can see Mr. Andre Pardom. All right, hello, Abner, Irma. Hello, Irma. So I can see also Sandra and Milet also, very good. All right, excellent, ladies and gentlemen. So it's two eight uh, on eight o'clock. Well, eight and two p.m. All right, so we are going to start practicing here. All right, and let me share the screen so we can start practicing with tonight's class. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. Can you see the screen now, people? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Hey, Nancy, I like your background. All right. She looks actually Thank you. <laughs> all right, nice. All right. So let's see. Well, everybody, so let's start with the last class tonight. So you need four. We're finished tonight. And we're going to talk about travel plans. All right. So in it, we are going to start practicing with this speaking activity. All right. So the speaking activity here, it says, number one here, it says, why do you or your partners travel on business? Rank three the top three reasons all right that's actually what it says right there so let's just go ahead and verify this quickly here and let's see do you understand what like um the book is saying here people this one in your opinion why do you travel on business so what is the reason why you travel on business and then we have those reasons right here such as this 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 and this one all right so Following that one, ¿cuáles de esas creen ustedes que serían las reasons para un travel on business? All right, so for a traveling on business, sorry. All right, what do you think? It says right here, for example, to attend conference. Do you remember what is to attend, people? Asistir. Asistir to conferences and seminars. Do you think this is a good reason to travel on business? Yes. Okay, excellent. So you go on this one here. All right. Uh, then it says to go on training. Do you think that one is actually a business thing? Business thing? 
Yes. Training, training. Okay, people say yes. But remember, we only have to select three. Uh -huh. So then, let's say this one right here. To visit clients. Do you consider this one to be actually a good here to go on trips on, on business trips? Yes. All right. That's true. And then it says right here to attend in company meetings. All right. Okay. Very good. What do you think about this one? How would you translate this one, people? ¿Cómo traducirías ese último? Yes. How will you translate this one? To attend in company meetings. Uh -huh. Asistir a reuniones de, en la compañía o encuentros de la compañía. Very good. Excellent. So, uh, will you say this is also necessary? Yes. All right. Great. Yes. Then to visit agents or dealers. Uh -huh. Yes or no. Also. Very good. And to visit manufacturing plants. All right, so very good. So at the end, you told me that all of them are necessary, but if we can select only a top three, what would be like the top three here? Si ustedes pueden seleccionar solo tres de esos, ¿cuáles serían? Hay como las three top reasons, como las tres razones más importantes. Ajá. Ajá. Yes, yes, yes. For me, for me to attend conference and seminars. Okay. To go on training. Go on training and? Um, to attend in company meeting, meetings. To attend in company meetings. All right. Those are Katia's um, top three reasons. All right. Thank you, Katia. Anybody else who wants to participate in this one? Uh huh. Erling, what will be your top three? Mm -hmm. uh, for me let me remove this one to see if you can actually select the same ones or different ones let's see okay for me the first one to attend a conference uh, in seminars mm -hmm. uh, to visit clients to visit clients all right and, and to visit agents or dealers. Okay, excellent, all right. You and Katya selected the number one, but you selected also two different ones, to visit clients and to visit agents or dealers. You, my friend, did also a very good job. Thank you, all right, thank you, thank you. Anybody else? Uh -huh. Who can give me like the top three reasons here? Que me sus tres razones principales para un viaje de negocios, all right? De esa que tenemos aquí, uh -huh. Mr. Ruano, tell me, what are yours? Teacher, mm -hmm. and to attend a conference and seminar. Okay. To visit manufacturing place. Okay. And plans, yep. And visit a hand or, or dealers. Dealers, all right, excellent. Thank Dealer. you. There you go, excellent. So now you understand that even though all of them are important, a pesar de que todas son importantes, right? Hay unas que tienen como la prioridad, a priority, right? Top three. So let's do this one. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So let's just continue right now with the next activity here. Thank you, guys. Now let's see. Uh, questions about vocabulary in exercise number one? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. You have questions? Okay, go ahead, Erling. Uh, what's the mean? meaning? Dealer. Dealer. Is that is that the question you were asking for? Dealer? Yes, dealer. All right, excellent. So a dealer is actually un distribuidor. You got it? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes. Door. There you go. Dealer, distributor. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. And uh, now let's see. Any other question? Mm 
Yes or no? Okay, no problem. So let's just go ahead and check this one here. Quickly, quickly. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. So let's see here. Uh, okay, we are going to go with this one right here. All right, but before we are going to make a, um, it's a, this one here. Let me check attendance right now. All right, let's see here. Checking that everybody is already here. All right, so let's see this one. One second, please. All right, all right. Very good. Abner Molina. Yes, he's participated. Oh no. Abner. Yes, he's here. Thank you. Alexa Cibrian. Not here. All right. Anna Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. So, Mr. Pardo is there. Uh, David Munguia. Not here yet. All right. Uh, Neftali. Not here. All right. Excellent. Erlene. Yes. He was here. I'm here, teacher. Yes, thank you. All right, um, Irma. Irma, 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 Irma. No paying attention. <laughs> She's so distracted. But yeah, we're going to say press it because we can see the camera. All right, so let's see. Irma is here. All right. So Jose Daniel Castro. Not here yet. Excellent. So let's see here. One second. All right, Mr. Jose Francisco. Yes, he's here. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlita is here. Is she here? Yes. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlita. All right. So Kevin Eduardo Santos. Not here yet, all right. Luis Humberto, yes. Maria. Present teacher. Hello. Present teacher. All right, thank you. All right, Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Ramirez, perdón, Mauricio Ruano. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Yes. All right, Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. And let's see this one. Raul Mauricio Ramirez, not here. Sandra Yamilet. Present teacher. Sonia Martinez. Not here yet. And William Giovanni. All right. Present. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So, well, thank you everybody for helping me with this one. Now we are going to continue with uh, the class again. All right, so before we continue, just remember people, uh, since today is our last day, so we are going to have, um, you know, uh, the survey. You know what is the survey, people? You know what is it? No. No, the survey means encuesta. Hmm. Hicieron el recordatorio, creo que ahora temprano en el grupo. Do you see that? Yes. 
All right, excellent. So, en unos minutos, eh, uno de los compañeros de Customer Service va a ingresar a la plataforma y nos va a ayudar para poder desarrollar eso. All right. Así que pay attention. Right, Irma? Irma, bye bye, right? <laughs> My goodness. All right, excellent. So, let's continue right now with the vocabulary. So, do you see the new screen, people? Yes. All right, excellent. So now we go with the exercise number two. Let's see. Uh, Nancy, can you help me to read the instruction, please? Okay. Write five sentences about scheduled activities. Mm -hmm. Use the vocabulary from the box. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Very well done. All right. So now we have five words there. So we are going to like Remember what's the meaning, and then we're going to be working on providing examples. So let's see the first one. It says, make a reservation. Repeat it. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. All right, excellent. Uh, what's to make a reservation, people? Hacer una reservación. All right, thank you very much, Nancy. And what is another way to say make a reservation? Book a make reservation. <laughs> Book a reservation. Mm -mm. Si book, yes. book. <laughs> book the room. Yes. There you go. Excellent. So, uh, thank you. Very good job. Then we have request a hotel service. What is request in general? Mm -hmm. Es una solicitud. Una solicitud. Very good. We're talking about this word right here. Una solicitud, y en este caso sería solicitar un qué? Un servicio de hotel. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. So that's what we have right there. All right. And then we have there, uh, let's see what else. It goes attend a business event. Repeat it. Attend a business event. There you go. Exactly. So attend a business event. All right. So with that one, it's about what, people? What's the meaning of attend? Asistir. Asistir, es decir, de ir a un lugar, no de ayudar, right? So, uh, ir a un ev evento de negocios, all right? It's this one, check out, check out, check out, all right? So, what is it? Mm -hmm. All right, so, what is check out? Verificar. Verificar la salida de un hotel. Buscar la salida de un hotel. Very good job. Excellent. So let's just continue with this one. All right. And, and what about the state? The last one. Mm -hmm. Permanecer. Permanecer. Exactly. All right. So, eh, o oh, estadía también puede significar eso. All right. So let's see this one. All right, so let's see this one right here. And now, people, we are going to continue providing some examples here. So about how you can actually make this reservation, all right? And, and sorry, do this exercise, make it, I mean, with the word, make a reservation, of course. And now tell me, all right, so what will be an example here, people? What will be an example uh, using make a reservation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, hello. I'm gonna make a reservation from this Monday. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it, Mr. Mouse. All right, so let's hit this one. Um, what happens here, huh? Mm -hmm. Or the next Monday, you said. What is? What do you say, Mister? Uh, yes, next Monday. All right, excellent. Thank you. I'm going to make a reservation for next Monday. All right. So then I have the first one. What about the second one here? Uh huh. Request a hotel service. What would that be? Hello? So did you... All right, excellent. 
So let's see. I want to request a shuttle service. All right, excellent. Ah, thank you for that one. What is shuttle service? Servicio de, de taxi, algo así, el pero dentro del de hotel. hotel. All right, so very good. It's more like a taxi service between the hotel and the airport. All right, excellent. So thank you very much, people. Sorry, I was just receiving some instructions right here about this one. We're going to make a pause right here regarding the, um, uh, the class. Sorry, we're going to continue in a moment. So it's time now for like the sorby. Ustedes han hecho y nada encuestas anteriormente de ese tipo. Yes. yes. All right, exactly. So you know how it works. Yes. ¿Saben cómo funciona, people? Hello. Chicos, necesito su colaboración, por favor, responder yes or no para poder eh, tomar acciones. Acá. Yes. Yes. Excelente. Yes. yes, teacher. En este momento, entonces, vamos a. Eh, is this one right here. First of all, we are going to go on this one. We are going to first watch the video regarding that. Okay. And then we are going to go with this one. So please pay attention to this video here. All right. I'll share it with you right now. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a... Excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead. Seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de serie. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita. Y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocar. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de información, que es Inglés Corporativo Real International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de información. Lo seleccionamos. 
Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información. It got stuck right here. Give me one second. Maybe if I turn on my camera, it's going to be better. All right, excellent. So due to technical issues, we're going to stop the video right here. But let me know, guys, if were you able to catch the information? Do you receive the email? Do you need help? Necesitan un poco de ayuda para poder eh, completar la encuesta. Nosotros hemos proporcionado tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Yes. Vamos a copiar. Por favor, indicar con la reacción de la manita para saber que ya terminaste tu encuesta, please. Thank you, Luis. Teacher. Yes. En mi caso no me cayó este, el correo donde va los nombres de la empresa y los demás. Pues, Ahorita, tal vez aquí me pueden ayudar los amigos de inglés corporativo. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, en la primera, permítame, dice, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guión. ¿Tú la tienes? Sí. La ando buscando, pero no sé cuál es. Ahorita te ayudo con eso, permíteme. Mm, aquí Buenas está. noches, Juan. Hola. Hola. Hola, Juan. Solo comentarle si hay algún participante que necesita apoyo con respecto a la razón social. Eh, se las puede compartir usted por chat directo de Zoom. Eh, la razón social la tiene usted en el control de asistencia. Ok, gracias. Bueno. One second, please. Here it is. All right. Okay, Erling, this is the number you were looking for. Vamos a ver. Mr. Ruano, right? Mr. Ruano me dijo que necesitaba yes. el nombre de la empresa. Yes. Exacto. Y este inicio de el primero que pide. No problem. Ahí está. Ese es para usted, Mr. Ruano. En lo del nombre de este es el de consigo. las fechas de inicio, okay. ahí están. All right. Excelente, muy bien. Por favor, no olviden enviar la captura al grupo de WhatsApp, confirmando que la encuesta ya fue este, enviada. Por favor, gracias a, a, a Anita, Mary, Elizabeth, que ya les enviaron. Los demás, please, actualizar. En el nombre del curso, teacher, sería inglés principiante número 3. That is correct. Voy a enviar eso otra vez porque están datos del curso. Eso nos lo compartieron hoy por la tarde, pero aquí se los mando yo nuevamente. Ahí están, datos del curso. Nancy, thank you, Nancy. Es de abril. 
All right, Mr. Moss, can you help me sending the screenshot to the WhatsApp group, please? Thank you, Irma. Sí, um, Mary. Ahí que se teniendo alguna algún inconveniente o alguien que tenga alguna duda acerca de la información que debe colocar. Thank you, Erling. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Mose, I couldn't hear you. Ah, este, cerré la pestaña del navegador. Yo creo que creo yo que es un formulario de. Mmm, no sé cómo podemos hacer ahí. Si le vuelves a dar al link, ya no te, te siempre te sale para hacer la encuesta nuevamente o te dice que ya le enviaste. Mr. Mouse. Sí, me dice que lo vuelva a llenar. Como que mm, no okay. lo he... Right, ok. Ana Luisa, thank you. Teacher. Yes. ¿A dónde encuentro el link para hacer la encuesta? A mí no me aparece, fíjense. Claro que sí, my friend. Estaba en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero yo se lo mando aquí por Zoom. No se preocupe. Vale, gracias, teacher. No hay problema. Aquí está. Teacher, el nombre del curso dijo que era el 3, ¿verdad? Correcto, aquí lo acabo de enviar en el grupo de bien en el chat de Zoom. Dice, aquí está, inglés principiante, módulo 3, correcto. Thank you, Milena. Thank you, Ana Luisa. His mom is sick and he worries. Thank you, Mr. Santos. What's going on? Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Thank you, Jamilet. Thank you, William. All right. All right. ¿Alguien más que falte por llenar la encuesta? Yo, teacher, estoy llenando en ese momento. Perfecto. Yo también, teacher, estoy. Thank you, mister.
Thank you, Mr. Pardo. Recuerden, cualquier duda o consulta, estamos para ayudarles acá. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Recuerden, por favor, enviar la captura al grupo de WhatsApp. Mauricio, thank you. Buenas noches. Hola. Eh, buenas noches, mi estimado. Eh, cuando todos finalicemos lo que es el tema de la encuesta, eh, podemos reanudar la, la clase, ¿verdad? Ya solo son pocos los que faltan. Correcto. Así que eh, vamos a estar pendientes de que todos puedan enviar lo que es la encuesta. Y al finalizar ya podemos renovar la clase. Muchísimas gracias, Lick. Le agradezco mucho. Una consulta, Jorge. Eh, claro, dígame. Eh, tengo el señor acá, Moss, eh, hizo la encuesta, pero cerró el navegador antes de tomar la captura. ¿Qué podemos hacer en ese caso? Ah, ok, comprendo. En ese caso, eh, tal vez puede entrar al historial uh -huh. y eh, tomar una captura de que sí la realizó. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Voy. Bueno, un gusto. So, that's your answer, Mr. Mose. ¿Cómo van, chicos? ¿Quién más falta? Eh, yo ya casi termino, teacher, pero puede continuar. Yo ya la, ya la envío cuando termine. Ah, perfecto. ¿Alguien más? Aparte de Mr. Ordóñez. Sí, Mr. Moss. ¿Qué es eso?
Bueno, ahí está. Oscar, thank you, Oscar. Thank you, teacher. Gracias, Mr. Pardo. Thank you very much. Mr. Moss, thank you as well. Esperemos funcione eso. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, diecisiete, diecisiete. Perfecto, entonces. All right. Bueno, eh, terminamos todos. Podemos seguir con la clase, chicos. Yes. Va. No se los olvide, por favor, los que todavía están terminando la encuesta o si de casualidad hay alguien que va en calidad de oyente ahorita y no puede hacer la encuesta hasta llegar a casa. No se olvide hacerla y enviar la captura siempre. All right. Bueno, seguimos entonces, people. Let's just continue here. Dame un segundito. We we'll check this one. Vamos a ver ahí. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So we were here actually doing this one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, thank you very much for uh, cooperating on this one. We were working on this vocabulary, right? So we said that make a reservation, request a, a hotel service, attend a business, et cetera, et cetera, right? So aquí teníamos dos, like two sentences, like the first two sentences you guys gave me before. I guess Mr. Mo says, I'm going to make a reservation for next Monday. I guess it was like that. If not, please correct me. All right, and then uh, let's just request Nancy. You, Nancy, you were the one who gave me the one about requests. Yes or no? I don't remember. Yes, yes. What was it? Do you remember it? I want to make a request mm -hmm. of Service. All right, excellent. That's actually a good idea. Let me just change a little bit here. I want to request, que lo usamos como verbo, right? I want to request mm -hmm. a shuttle service. Okay. Thank you, Nancy, Thank you. for the idea. Very good. Excellent. So what about number three, people? Attend a business event, all right? Remember that a business event could be a conference, a training, a meeting, etc. right? So it will be like that one. Attend and then the business event. What will be the example there? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, 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 people. Excuse me, Anne Elizabeth. I going to attend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, a conference on Friday. Nineteenth. Uh, Excellent. Example. It goes like that. I'm going to attend a conference on Friday nineteenth. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What about check out? Check out, check out. What would that be? Um, I need to check out of the hotel before noon. All right. So I need to check out. Let's see. I need to check out before noon. All right. Excellent. All right. Solo por la like, uh, aclaración, right? Le quitamos ahí el um, from the hotel, porque obviously eh, se sobreentiende, right? Que if you're checking out 
in a hotel, of course. All right, so, but thank you. Thank you for the idea, Mr. Moses. All right, the last one right here. So what is it? What is going to be stay, 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 stay. Remember, que es una estadía o quedarse en. So what will that be, people? Yes. Hello, hello. I need, I need, I need to stay. Mm. Es como un verbo, right? So, ¿cómo diríamos entonces? Yo me voy uh, a quedar en un hotel. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm stay. I'm going to stay. Uh, I'm going to stay in a hotel. Oh. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. 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 All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Hey, do you have questions about this? Yes or no? No? All right. No problem. Let's clear all this. And let's just continue with this one right here. All right. Bam. So we have now this exercise number three. And the exercise number three says here... It says, classify the words below in the corresponding circle, all right? So we have two different circles right here. The first one, it's about accommodations, right? And the second one is about amenities. So do you remember the difference between accommodations and amenities, people? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. Do you remember what was the difference between accommodations and amenities? Hello, hello. Swimming pool is amenities. Uh -huh. For example. Amenities is beneficios adicionales. Amenities are additional benefits. All right. So what else? What else? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vamos a ir un poquito para atrás acá. Now, page number, what is it here? Here. Do you see it? Yes, I see. All right, excellent. So it says that, pay attention here, right? What it says that uh, accommodations, oops, sorry. All right, accommodations, it's a place, such a room in a hotel where the travelers can sleep and find other services, all right? So it's a place such as room in a hotel. And the amenities are the features of the hotel that are available for the guests. For example, the gym, the pool, the mini bar, etc. right? So now, now that we say this here, let's just go back to the previous exercise. And we are going to determine right now here, which is this one right here. Entonces, basado en eso, ¿cuáles serían accommodations y cuáles serían amenities? All right. Let's just work on this one. Uh, questions? 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 About this one? Do you understand the activity? Yes. All right. Excellent. So, let's just go. Swimming. Swimming pool. Excuse me? Swimming pool is amenity. An amenity. All right. Let's just go on this one right here. So we're going to be working in the breakout room so you can discuss this peacefully and with no interruptions. Let's see here. Do me a favor, people, all right, and help me. Raise your hand, los que pueden ahorita dialogar, participar. Hello, hello. Yeah, must be like, all right. Thank you, Anna Elizabeth. Okay, very good. And it's this one. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Perfect, I'm making the rooms for new, I'm assigning the people to the rooms. Let's see here, Mr. Rano. Okay, and go with, Giovanni, William Giovanni. All right, everybody else, it's there. All right, look early. There you go, excellent. Okay, so go to the rooms, people. De los que no puedan participar, os voy a ir agregando para que, you know, you can participate at least listening to this. All right. Thank you. Hello, Nancy. Bye bye. Irma, Erlin. Hello, Erlin. Ahorita, teacher. Thank you. Me había levantado. No problem. Erling, Erling. El instalar y no, no me quedo chance de instalarla. Pero sí está, está chiva. ¿Sabes lo que pienso? Que, ¿Qué tal que me toque hablar con alguien ya súper avanzado? Se me va a dificultar bastante. O le puedo poner yo ahí el nivel. Sí, como a veces son, son salitas que te, que te aparecen ahí. Ah, okay. Si son bien avanzados, solo te quedas calladito. Ya, ya. Ah, ya escucho. Ah, vaya. Ah, pues no lo voy a intentar. Eso me había detenido un poquito también. Ajá, vaya, en el chat te puse, Luis. Oh. Ah, <ríe> estamos hablando de una aplicación de inglés. ¿Qué es eso? Talks. Talks, ¿qué se llama? Uh -huh. Esa. I recommend you another one. Otras personas. <laughs> In English. Ah, uh, prefer talk. Mm. Okay. It's a very interesting. That's a Pero website gracias. actually. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Sí. Vaya, Luis, te mandé al chat de lo que vamos a trabajar. Ya lo viste. Ahorita lo estoy viendo. Quiero ver. Yo creo que la suma impulsa sería many things. But... Sí, cabal. Eh, la número dos es accommodations. Mm. Número 3, convenciones de hotel. Okay. Esa sería una amen amenities, ¿verdad? Convention hotel. Uh, yo creo que sí. Porque no es que, o sea, ese no es como que para dormir, no es para, para quedarte. Aunque te puedes dormir ahí, va, pero no. <ríe> no, pero ya no hace parte de tu service room. <ríe> ah. Entonces sí, sería Amenitis sí. uh, Safe Eso sí sería un Accommodations Accommodations Las cinco también sería Accommodations Teacher, yo ahí tengo una de la número seis Tell me eh, 
hair dryer. Esas, pues, por lo general casi siempre ponen una secadora. Uh -huh. En serio. De cabello. Entonces, igual no es necesario para, para acomodarse en el, en, el, en, el, en el cuarto, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, no sé, podría ser como algo, algo adicional que pone el hotel. Entonces, vendría, vendría siendo una amenity. Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Just remember que siempre la, 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 la accommodation es un lugar. Uh -huh. right? okay. so, y las amenities son like uh, services. All right. uh -huh. Sí, okay. y eso, la, la número 12, Kevin, ¿a qué se refiere? Which one is it? Number 12. Kevin. Let, me... Let me check it out. Okay. All right. Vamos, what is it? Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Ah, all right. So like this one. Eso es como like, if I know wrong, si no estoy en el correcto, that would be just like, um, let's see here. Ese sería como like a room as well, but like in things like a ship, como un tipo barco. Los, los, los cruceros, you know? Uh -huh. El lugar de room sería como cabina, you know? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces sería una, una accommodation. Uh -huh. Correct. Ok. Uh -huh. Kevin uh -huh. también puede ser una eh, cabaña, by the way. Ah, listo. Uh -huh. Ok. So you finished? Sí. Yes. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. We finish. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so we are going to return to the main session right now so you can participate and be the volunteers, all right? Okay, thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Excellent. So let's just continue right now, ladies and gentlemen, and, and tell me who can be my volunteer. We are going to share the screen right now so you can see exactly what we're talking about. All right. And see here, swimming pool. Where do you think you can actually add the swimming pool? Amenities or accommodation, people? Mm -hmm. The swimming pool, where can you actually use it? Mm -hmm. Accommodations or amenities? Hello? Amenity. What is it? Amenity. Amenities, it says right here. Thank you. So we got the swimming pool here in the amenities. And now we are going to Say it here because yeah, we use it already. All right. What about a hostel? What is a hostel? Accommodations. Accommodations, exactly, right? So the hostel is an accommodation here. That is correct. All right. Because it's a place where you can stay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What about the, the rest, people? Mm -hmm. Convention. Accommodation. What is this one? Accommodation. Accommodations. Exactly. Oh my goodness. That was easy for you. Super, super easy. All right. So a convention hotel. That's right. What about number um number four? Safe. Accommodation. Accommodations. Accommodation. All right. We're talking about like, for example, how do you I mean how do you describe um an um a place? Okay, so safe. All right, so what about the next one, ladies and gentlemen? Bread and breakfast. Accommodations. All right, why do you say that bed, bed, about bed and breakfast? Por qué no una amenity? Uh -huh. Hello? Because it's uh, essential. In, dentro de la 
su <risa> dentro de la habitación. Ya, yeah, but it says there, ¿cómo sería como cama y desayuno? How would you translate it? Ajá. Uh -huh. Es it? parte del servicio que, 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 que ofrecen por una acomodación. All right, excellent. So, yes. what is it? What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So, well, people, y si les digo que es una accommodation in a own yes. service? Yes, it's accommodations. Yes, it yes, is accommodation. accommodation. No amenity, right? So, yes, all right. So, ese es un sistema de, bueno, se le conoce como un sistema de alojamiento sencillo, ¿verdad? Es una casa con menos de 10 cuartos o lo que lo llamamos nosotros aquí en El Salvador, los hostales, right? So, una pequeña casa con menos de 10 cuartos y que ha sido acondicionada para trabajar como hotel y que, pues, es exclusivamente sencillo, right? Cuartito y desayuno el siguiente día. That's all, all right? Yes. All right, all right. Questions? No question. Mm -hmm. There you go. And let's continue with this one. Hair dryer, people. What's the idea? Amenities. Amenities. Exactly. Amenities. There you go on this one. Hair dry, hair dryer. All right. Mini bar. Amenities. Amenities. Exactly. Amenities. Mini bar. All right. So what about the next one? Cable TV? Uh, amenities. Accommodation. Oh, Por qué? Cuéntenme. Why accommodation? Amenities. No, pero hay un par de accommodations. ¿Por qué? Me interesa saber por qué. I would like to know why. Eh, teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah? Es que siento que ese es como parte de, también del, del servicio, pues. Que en un hotel haya cable o, o, o wifi. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero no es algo extra para mí. Pero que es una acomodación, una accommodation. Ahí está la clave. That is the key. What is an accommodation? Or what's the difference between an accommodation and an amenity? Mm -hmm. Do you remember it? <coughs> Or not? Hello? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, please. Uh... Can you tell me uh, the meaning of the accommodation and amenities? Of course, no problem. Accommodations, when you talk about accommodations, you talk about a place, describing the place where you can stay. For example, a hotel, a hostel, a bed and breakfast, a convention hotel, all right, a motel if it is possible, all right, understand? Okay, yeah. All right, and amenities are going to be the benefits those places offer you, such as a sweet okay. pool, hair dryer, mini bar, <laughs> Wi-Fi, etc., etc. Right? Okay. So now that you understand that, tell me, number eight, cable TV, will that be okay. an accommodation or a menu? Cable TV is a menu. That amenity. is correct. It's a, a, a service or a benefits that the hotel offers. And accommodation is yeah. about the places where you can stay. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's see here. No problem. What about room service? Amenities. 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 Exactly. Amenities. Amenities. Room service. Very good. Excellent. What about a spa? Amenities. Amenities. Accommodation. Accommodation. Or um, amenities. 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 It's a menu. All right, excellent. So it would be a menu because it's a benefit of the hotel. No, it's un lugar donde te puedas quedar, sino que es un beneficio que un hotel puede ah, tener que okay. otro no. All right, so yeah. that's the reason why. Y okay. eh, high-fi speed Wi-Fi, lo vamos a ver como Wi-Fi. ¿Cuál sería entonces? A menu. 
Una y five to excellent. Y ahora vamos a hacer cabin. ¿Qué sería la cabin? Accommodation. Accommodation. All right. Que vendría siendo como una cabaña o un cuarto dentro de un crucero. All right. Entonces, you see a difference right now? All right. So, if you pay attention to this one, it says right here. Um, take a look at this one. For example, this one is a hostel o un hostal. This one is a convention hotel. All right. Okay, para convenciones. Then you go for this one safe. O sea, ¿qué tipo de lugar es? Un lugar seguro. Bed and breakfast. Un tipo de servicio de hoteles. Una casa pequeña que funciona como hotel. Servicio de cabañas o los cuartos en un crucero. Estos son accommodations. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Are you clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Great. Excellent. So then you go on the next one. The next one right here we have swimming pool. All right. A hair dryer. A mini bar. Cable TV, room service, spa, and Wi-Fi. All of those that you can see here are services. All right. Benefits that a hotel can offer you. Some hotels can have it and some hotels cannot have it. For example, a convention hotel where business people go there. Do you think they have all those services here? Yes, Wi-Fi. Exactly, all of them, right? Un convention center, un convention hotel tiene todos estos eh, servicios, for example. Pero ¿qué pasa con un bed and breakfast? ¿Qué dijimos que era un bed and breakfast? Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Alojamiento, desayuno, algo así. Mm -hmm. Un servicio sencillo de alojamiento. Un servicio sencillo de alojamiento. De nuevo, le repito, es como una casa con menos de 10 cuartos que ha sido acomodada para hacer hotel, pero que tiene lo más básico. Un bed and breakfast, ¿crees que pueda tener uno de estos? No. ¿Está? No. no. Right. So, ¿Crees que cada cuarto en el bed and breakfast tenga una de estos? Uh -huh. All right, or maybe do you think there is a mini bar in the bed and breakfast? Maybe not, right? Or for example, this one, all right? So just to say something here. Thank you, everybody. No problem. Questions? Questions, questions, questions? No questions? All right, no problem. So let's continue with this one. All right, let's just now go with the next exercise. All right, we did an exercise like this, like perhaps on Monday, if I'm not wrong. All right, so then we are going to go and check this part right here. Um, and it says here, ladies and gentlemen, the next one, questions would be going to, it says identify and correct three mistakes in the questions below. Check answers with the classmate, it says. All right, so for example, number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five are the ones that you are going to check. Three of those sentences are incorrect. We are going to analyze them one by one to see which is the incorrect one. All right, so now let's see. Um, question, I mean, question number one. It says right here, she is going to stay in a single room. Is this correct or incorrect, people? Mm -hmm. Correct. 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 correct? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So what about number two? How long are you going to stay at the cabin? All right. So correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 What is the mistake? Porque él no lleva antes el be, antes del going. El qué, perdón. Uh, what is it? Lleva otro verbo long. Mm -hmm. Or you're saying that this is the mistake. Long. Is correct, no? It is correct, actually, porque esta es una pregunta. ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Exactly. That is correct. How long are you going to stay in the cabin? So, at the end, is correct. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, it's that correct. is correct. correct. What about number three? Number three says right here, when are they going to arrive? 
What is it missing here? Incorrect. Incorrect. What is the mistake? Because don't they have. Are going. Uh, excuse me. Tendría que ser when are they are, perdón, they are going. When are they to when to... are right? They are going to going. arrive. Exactly. The mistake is lost. missing here. The two. Two, 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 two. Two is lost. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like this one. Right. Yes. That is actually correct. All right. Entonces sería aquí el tú que va de este lado. Understand? Entonces esta estaba incorrecta. Very good. What about number four? Are you going to rent a car? Repeat it. Are you going to rent a car? Okay, excellent. So is that correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. All right, excellent. So, yeah, it's correct. So, are you going to rent a car? Correct. All right, so what about this one, the number five? It says right here, what type of room you are going to request? Mm -hmm. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Incorrect. Why? Correct. Is it correct? It is an incorrect. Huh. ¿Cuál será entonces? <laughs> Sería, are you going? That is correct. Um, Ana, right? So, yes, that is correct because it says like, what type of rune? And this one is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. So, it's supposed to be, what type of rune are you going to request? Understand? Yes. All right, so this is what happens right here. You will see. For example, in this one, we get this one right here. Okay. There we go. So ending, we are going to say, what type of room are you? Are you going to request? Like this one. Thank you. All right, so that was the mistake. April, exercise notice here at the end. Tres equivocadas. Si tenemos tres correctas y dos equivocadas. ¿Será que nos hemos equivocado, people? The first one is incorrect. The first one. Exactly. Uh -huh. Thank you, Mr. Moss. ¿Y cómo fue que se nos pasó ese error ahí? ¿Dónde está el error? Vamos a ver si lo identifican. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Is she going? Exactly, 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 exactly. Remember, since it is a question, right? Siempre tiene que ir el auxiliar primero. Entonces aquí, al igual que en el number five, esto está equivocado, right? So, for example, this one right here is going to be like this. And then we are going to have is she, right? Is she going to stay in a single room? Excellent. So that's the reason why this one también estaba como incorrect. All right. Like this one. Thank you. Encontramos. Aha. You see, right? Now, yes, according to the exercise, we got like the three mistakes and this one right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Questions about this? No questions? All right. Let's just continue with this one right here. There you go. We are going to, um, you know, work on this one, but then we are going to, um, you know, learn the minimum of the, I mean, the, the meanings are of these expressions that we have here. All right. So for example, no overtaking, everybody, no overtaking, say it. No overtaking. What is the meaning of no overtaking, people? No sobrepasar. No sobrepasar. Very good. All right. I got this one. No sobrepasar. Excellent. All right. What's the meaning of school zone? Zona escolar. Zona escolar. Zona escolar. Very good.
All right, excellent. So then you go on this one. Maximum speed is that's easy, right? Maximum velocidad. All right, excellent. So la máxima velocidad es. There you go, excellent. So don't continue. What is it? No. No continuar. No seguir o continuar. Very good. Very good. No U-turns. What is it? Las no girar en U. Las ilegales del sábado, right? No girar en U. No girar en U. Erling dice en la moto. All right, so. <laughs> there you go. All right. Who else, who else, who else? Is this one? This exit goes to. Repeat, everybody. This exit goes to. This exit goes to, and what's the meaning of this one? Esa salida va a, all right. And then here, you go on this one, what is it? No girar a la derecha. No girar a la derecha, very good. Y lo opuesto aquí sería? No girar a la izquierda. Como dice, no girar a la izquierda cuando no ve policía, all right. All right. Izquierda. Excellent. Thank you. So we got the vocabulary here. All right. So, and you understood this one. And now let's identify this one. So number one, ladies and gentlemen, what is it going to be? Oops. Don't turn left. Don't turn left. Yes or no, people? Yes. All right. So we'll be like, don't one second here. Don't turn left. All right. Let's see here. Excellent. Don't turn left. Very good. Number two. What do you think is going to be that one? Maximum speed is. Uh, uh, uh. This, what is exit this exit two. goes to. Yes, that is correct. It's going to be like this exit goes, and we're going to leave it like that because of the space. All right. Thank you. Then number three, what is it, people? No overtaking. No overtaking. No overtaking. Very good. No overtaking. Awesome. Very good. What about number four? What is it? Don't do right. Don't turn, no, right? So don't turn. Repeat it. Don't turn. No don't turn. turn. Right. Mm -mm. No, no, no. We don't say tour. We say turn. Repeat it. Turn. Turn. Ahí vamos con el aire, el aire, la R de gringo. Remember, turn. Uh -huh. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so let's continue with this one. So, sería entonces, John, turn. ¿Qué era esta? Right, right? Right. Oops, confusing. All right, so let's see. Uh, what about number five? Number five is easy. What is it? School son. School son. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. School zone. And then number six, what is it? No U turns. No U turns. There you go. Excellent. No U turns. There you go. Excellent. And number seven? Maximum speed. There you go. Excellent. Maximum speed. All right. Excellent. And number eight, what is it? Don't continue. Don't continue. All right. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. You did a wonderful job with this one. Thank you. You did it. Good, 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 good. So, questions about this? No questions? Perfect. No problem. So, we are going to continue with the next exercise. And it's your time for speaking, 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 speaking. So we have this short dialogue, imagine. So it says, let me read the instruction for you. It says, 
Take turns role playing a short conversation, asking and answering questions about sign roads and their meanings. Check the model conversation. It says, Speaker A, what does this sign mean? It means there is a school zone. I'm sorry, there it means that there is a school zone ahead. What about that one? It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. All right, so, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer aquí exactly? All right, so, vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms in couples. Vamos a usar estos signs y ustedes van a hacer questions. For example, eh, veamos, digamos que estoy practicing ahorita con Nancy. All right, hello, Nancy. Hello. All right, imagine that I ask you the question. Nancy, what does sign number eight mean? Um, it's mean don't continue. Don't continue. What does? Vamos a cambiar un poquito la pregunta, right? Porque vamos a usar los números de los de los um, símbolos, all right? So sería entonces here. What does sign number? Y dejamos el espacio para el número mean. All right. So what? Uh, what does? Ahí okay, lo puse duplicado el dos dos. All right. So let me check it out. All right. What does? Sign number tal means. And we're going to eliminate this one. So it's not going to be confused. There you go. And you go on this one. And then the answer, it means, and you give the answer. It means, and you give the answer. That's Nancy did. Another example. So, uh, Nancy, what does sign number four means? Number four. It means don't turn. Right. Don't turn right. Excellent. Thank you. And that's what you are going to be doing. And then we are going to select some volunteers to participate in front of the whole class. So let's practice right now, people. Let's go to the breakout room so we can continue practicing here. All right. Go ahead. So let's see. So, Mr. Pardo, are you able to, to participate now? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let me send you to a room where you can participate, all right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. William, please go to the room to practice. Irma, please go to the room to practice. All right, that's the right. Thank you. Ah, ay, yo creo que le tomé más completa. Quiero ver. Ah, pero creo que la pregunta es, what does, what does that sign? Sign. Eh, el número, sign. Uh, el número. Ah, what does that sign? What does sign? Ajá, uh, what does that sign mean? Bueno, does sign. Digamos, one Así. minute. Ahí está. What does it mean? Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ups, qué bárbaro, qué horror. Acabo de ver todo un error. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sign. Estaba al revés la G con la N. I'm sorry. Canta. Vamos a ver. Ok, what does sign el número? Uh -huh. Sí, uy, pero no la tomé completa. ¿Qué es mi completa? Complete. Complete. 
Smash Complete. Pero usted la tiene, ¿verdad, Andri? En el grupo. Ahí está en el chat. Ah, sí, es cierto. Entonces tenemos que ir preguntando qué significa cada señal y de ahí Ajá. nosotros vamos sí, a guarda, responder. Guarda sign, el número y mil. Ok, ¿quién comienza? Eh, no, cualquiera, no hay problema. Vamos a ver. ¿Quiere... ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos sabemos participando? Creo que somos cuatro. Pero todos están... Eh, Pero oyentes. Sandra está de oyente, creo. Ah, sí, cierto. Entonces seríamos Sandra tres. Y María, entonces seríamos tres. tres. Okay. Listo, entonces sí. les, voy a, les voy a empezar a hacer una pregunta a cada uno. ¿Listo? Ana y Carla, ¿sí? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, Ana... Mmm... What does sign uh, number one mean? Pero no es tanto la verdad. No, <ríe> voy a compartir la imagen que compartió André mejor. Pero no sé cómo guardarla. ¿En el chat está? ¿Hay en el, ¿Entras al texto? Bueno, el mensaje, donde dice chatear. Y ahí está por ahí. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Okay. ¿La encontró Ana? Sí. Dime. Yes. Eh, what does sign one mean? It means is no, it means there is uh -huh. a down to left. Es correcto. Entonces, eh, Carla, eh, what does sign number three? Number mean. three. Number three, mean. Ah, uh, quiero No, esa no me acuerdo. Eh, esa es, entonces sería, it means oh, mm. don't overtaking. Over, over ah, don't oversize, no, no rebasar, no rebasar. Ah, no rebasar. No me acuerdo. Ok, paso. Otra. Ok, ok, entonces vamos con otra, no hay problema. Entonces, eh, what does sign number two mean? Number two, um, quiero ver. It means this exit goes to. Ok, es correcto. A ver, vamos con otra. Ana y Carla. Ok. What does sign number five mean? It means there is a school song. School song, yes. Can you repeat, please? Voy a repetirlo. It... It means there is a school song. Ok. Ok, entonces, el siguiente. What does mean six number? Number six. Number six, it means no, no, you turn, sería. Uh -huh. Don't return. No, you turn. Very good job. I'll be, I will go to a different room in case you need help. Let me know. All right. Okay, teacher. All right. Bye. Eh, ¿Y por qué no hacemos así? O sea. Okay. Yes, Luis. Ya, ahí estamos ya. Voy yo, voy yo. Voy yo. <laughs> ok. Ok. What does the, the sign of number one mean? Uh, it means don't turn left. Ok. Uh, what does the second sign mean? It means... This exit goes to. Oh. 
Var das the fourth time in Mm, could you repeat that question, please? Uh, well, what does the fourth sign mean? Okay. Uh, it means don't turn right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does the seventh sign mean? Uh, it means maximum speed is... Okay, and the last one, what uh, does the last one, last one sign mean? El conductor que no puede girar en Teacher. Hello. Um, en forma de pregunta, ¿verdad? What does the sign meaning stop? Sign, 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 sign. Sign meaning stop. Mm, no, I think it, vaya, ahí ustedes van a dar los números que tienen ahí cada, cada señal, right? So, for okay. example, la del stop, dice ahí, sería what does sign number eight sería ahí. Ah, ok. Number eight, para que usted me pueda decir, eh, don't continue, como está ahí arriba. Uh -huh. don't, oh, ok, good, sí. Ah, sí. Okay. Es más fácil así. Ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Do you need help with anything else? No. No? No. All right, excellent. So continue. We are about to finish. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Sriya, what does this mean? Seven. El number, uh-huh. Yes, yeah, seven. Uh-huh. Is maximum speed is. Okay, now, so we have number one. Uh-huh. It says, don't turn left. Ajá. En la six sería no no o so no girar en un. Okay, empecemos. Va número uno ya tenemos. Don't to let number two. Se maximum speed x. Sea que máxima altura. Number two. Eh, va, si quiere en la, la primera sería no rebasar yeah, no over taking no 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 what... ajá go go ah uh, what does the mean one yeah number no one over taking dog true leaf no gira a la izquierda. Don't to release. This is a left, 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 left. Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry. No left. problem. Uh -huh. Three. 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 Right. All right, no problem. We are going to stop right now so we can go back to the main station and participate. All right. Vamos a regresar a la sesión ahorita, por favor. Ok, thank you. Yeah.
Welcome back, everybody. Mr. Rano, William, mm -hmm. Irma, I can see he's coming back. David. Mm -hmm. Yay. Teacher, o sea que ahora es la última clase. That's correct. So tomorrow, no class. All right. Hasta que le den la nueva fecha de inicio, right? Que creo que sería next week, si no me equivoco. Okay, teacher. All right, all right. Hasta va a llover, teacher. I know, I know. Escuchó, ¿verdad? <laughs> like so. There you go. All right, excellent, everybody. Let's just continue here and tell me, tell me. I need two volunteers, two volunteers, two volunteers. Who are going to be my volunteers, people? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Who are going to be my first volunteers? Me, teacher. Excellent. Thank no you. Problem. Problem. All right. Who are you working with? Hi. And Carlita. All right, excellent. Anna and Carlita. Okay, please go ahead. What does that sign number two mean, Andre? Hello. Sorry, se me había ido el internet, teacher. Oh, my God. Se lo fue a traer. All right, so. <laughs> okay. What does that sign number six mean, Carla? Hola. Carlita de micrófono. Creo que está fallando el internet o algo así. Perdón, perdón. <laughs> Eh, permítame que no me cargue la imagen. Number. What number? Number six. Number six. It means yeah. there is um no 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 U-turns. Okay. Okay. Um. What does that sign number five mean, Andre? Okay, it means school zone. Uh, Carla, what does sign number four mean? Number four, it means there is a Que no eres de la derecha. <laughs> Don't turn right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, what does that sign that what does that sign number two mean? Anna? It means there is a max maximum speed e Ah, perdón. Is, uh, it means there is a to exit go. Ah, creo que sí. What, what number this, was it? This exit goes to. Number two, right? Number yes. two. Yes. Yes. All right. yes. All right, all right. This exit goes to. Correct. This exit goes to. Um, what does... The sign number seven means uh, Andrew. Okay, it means maximum speed uh, forty kilometers. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. You were doing a very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for participating. Right. So you understood the activity and you uh, perform it correctly all right super good job thank you all right i need another volunteer let's see another group who wants to participate hello hello who wants to participate 
Hello. 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 Oh my goodness. Okay, no problem. Mr. Pardo, since you were the one who were the volunteer, select someone. Okay, a ver. <laughs> a ver dónde cae, a dónde va a caer el dedo por aquí esta noche. Nancy Katia María Ochoa Arias. <laughs> hey, thank you, Andre. <laughs> Excellent. Thank so, Katia, you, who you. are you working with? Teacher, how do you hey, say Luis? it? She was hiding from you. No, 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 no. I was waiting for you to say my name. Thank you. <laughs> so, tell me. All right, Katia, who are you mm -hmm. working with? With Luis. Okay, Luis and Katia, go ahead, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, Luis, what does? Yo pregunto, Luis. Yo pregunto. Después me pregunto. Okay. Uh, Luis, what does the sign number three mean? Luis, can you hear me? Okay, uh, yes. Uh, the sign of number three means that you shouldn't overtake him. Oh, I'm sorry, Luis. Is it possible for you to <laughs> um, fix the microphone? Because we cannot hear you very well. Sorry, but I am with the computer and that microphone is very bad. All right, thank you. Try again, please, Sorry. Uh, Nancy and Luis. Uh, the sign number, the sign number okay. three means that you shouldn't talk about taking the traffic. Okay, thank you. Um, what does the sign number A mean? Sign number eight mean that when you come at the corner of the street, you have to stop the car or your vehicle and watch the right and left side and after continue. Okay, thank you. And then what does the sign number one mean? Don't turn left. Okay, thank you. Um, it's my turn, it's my turn. Okay, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, what does the sign number five mean? Um, it means a school song. Okay. What does the sign number six mean? It means don't, don't turn left. And what about the sign number seven? It means maximum speed is. Okay. I am a better driver now. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Thank you very much for participating. And thank you, Luis, for making the effort, right? I know maybe the microphone is not the best, but you are doing also a good job. Nancy, by the way, very nice as usual, right? Good, good job. Thank you. Let's see here. And we are going to continue now with a different activity. So let's see this one right here. Hold on one second here. And it's this one that we have here which is the activity number seven here. So it says your turn, your turn, your turn, all right? We are going to actually finish the activities for tonight with this one. It will be a role play where we can see this one here. Take a look, people, do you see here this uh, map? Do you see this map? Yes? Yes. 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 So here you have a hotel, 
Here you have the bank. Here you have the school. Here you have the gas station. And here you have a store, all right? So, and you are going to be given directions, all right? So, for example, here it says uh, that you are going to, you are driving and you are using the GPS system. So, que ustedes van a hacer un GPS here, all right? So, in uh, uno de ustedes es el cliente, one of you is the customer, and the other one is going to be the GPS company representative, and you are going to be giving directions to your classmate para llegar de un lugar a otro. So, for example, ustedes deciden los lugares. Del hotel salen, right? And uh, ustedes pueden decir, voy a ir del hotel a la gasolinera. Llamas a la compañía de teléfono, a la compañía de GPS, I'm sorry. This is like, how do I get, like, for example, I need directions for the uh, gas station or for the no sé qué hotel. All right, how can I get there? Or, or la pregunta que puede ser here. Remember, how, how do I get to the gas station? station from the hotel. All right. How do I get to the gas station from the hotel? Y ahí empiezan ustedes, right? Con las que vimos ayer. Go straight forward, turn right, all right, go turn left, go to the first exit and turn right, and then go across the street and turn left, and then here you are. All right, understand? So one of you is going to be asking for directions, and the other one is going to be given those directions. Entendimos, people? You got it? Yes? Yes or yes? Yes. Excellent. Perfect. So this is our last activity. Let's just go back to the break room so we can continue again. All right? Remember, uno de ustedes va a pedir la dirección, y el otro le va a explicar cómo llegar de ese lugar al otro, all right? Del hotel a la tienda, de la tienda a la gas station, de la gas station al hotel, etc., right? Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Teacher, ¿me puede enviar la invitación nuevamente? Oh my goodness. Es que le tomé captura de pantalla y no sé qué es. My goodness, ¿dónde estás tú, Anita? Veamos. A mí también, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please. Number two. Vas, Carla. Ana, es que usted hasta aquí, veamos. Move to. Ok, so con this one. Ahorita voy, Ana. Okay. All right, excellent. Ana, lo voy a meter a un room que está solo. Por favor, acepte y después la muevo a su room de regreso porque no me deja reenviarle al mismo room, ¿ok? Ok, ok. All right. Hello, hello. <laughs> Tell me, how can I help you? Hi, teacher. Disculpe, pero es que por estar concentrándonos en otra cosita, no tomamos la captura. <laughs> ah, all right, no problem. Let no la see. puede poner por aquí, porfa. Of course, of course, right now. Can you see it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, just, just, just. Yeah, All right. Wait, wait me one moment, please. Okay. You don't say wait me. You said wait for me, please. Oh, hold on. Hold on a moment. Okay. Thank you. Hold on a moment. Yay. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. Ahora, quiero ver si quedó bien aquí. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. All right. Any other questions you may have? Do you understand the activity? 
Eh, solo el, el punto de partida iba a ser el hotel, dijo, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, o you can change it if you would like. Usted le hace de la okay. gas station al hotel o del store al hotel, whatever. Ah, oh, ok, thank you. All right. Vaya, uh -huh. Luis, ya te mando la captura, Luis. No, ya, ya aquí la, la acabo de compartir. Ah, también la, la, ok, ok, ok. Ah, listo, ya, aquí está. Vale. Vale. Solo que estoy okay. viendo que yo no la tomé completa. Sino... <risa> <risa> Va, espérame, espérame. I'll stop sharing the screen so you can share No yours. problem. <risa> Aquí ya la tengo, Luis, otra vez. <risa> eh, I got to my face. <risa> Espérame aquí, ya, la, ya te la estoy compartiendo. Chat. Vale. Quiero <risa> screenshot. Ay, ya, ahora sí, Luis. Ya puedes ver. Yay. I'll go to different rooms, so let me know if you need help, all right? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Es que recuerdo un celular. Pues sí. ¿Quién comienza? Good night, teacher. You guys are gossiping, huh? <laughs> and Maria, Maria, Maria started with the conversation. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Maria, teacher. Huh? Yo soy testigo, es Maria. Ah, you see, you see, Maria, Maria. <laughs> Maria, Maria y Carla, yo la escuché. Ah, yes. Oh. <laughs> Estaba bien juicioso viendo las respuestas. ¿sí? Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, the indication is uh, in the hey. map, uh, como uh -huh. bueno, ubicarnos y llegar a algún lugar, ¿cierto? That's right. Okay. Es que teníamos esa duda. Ya, de hecho, le íbamos a llamar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to stay here in case you have more questions. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, teacher, yeah. digamos, en este caso, bueno, no sé, yo estaba pensando acá un caso. Ubicado desde el carrito rojo. A red eh, car. A red car. Eh, para ir la auto es como una fábrica en el lado inferior derecho. Um, yeah, it's just like, I guess it's like a store. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, se puede hacer de cualquier manera, ¿sí? Of course. Entonces, digamos, podríamos iniciar, no sé, eh, go, yes. está ahí, go ahead. Uh -huh. sí. go, straight, go straight ahead sería ahí. Ah, go straight ahead, ok. Uh -huh. Go straight ahead, turn right. Turn right, for example. Turn yes. right. And to right again. Uh -huh. eh, eh, sería como, o sea, si no recuerdo la palabra que es como en la siguiente gira a la izquierda. In the next exit, turn left, for example. Okay. Es in the next exit, turn left. Uh -huh. eh, go straight ahead, two blocks. Uh -huh. And to right. Yes. Yep. Okay. You did it. Yes. Ah, you got a good idea. Uh -huh. Maria will be the volunteer. <laughs> no, teacher, today. I am very tired. Today is the last day, my friend. My eyes is closed. <laughs> my eyes are closing. <laughs> Closing, yeah. 
Quiero venir. O sea, ahí en las dos les voy a colocar de tarea, a ver. No. Claro, por supuesto, si no se me van a dormir. Yeah, yeah. <risa> no, I, I just listening our classmates. Entonces, Carla va a ir a Schoolson y María va a ir a... A ver, María, María va a... Allá mismo a, a la store, solo que te vas a ir por arriba de igual. Uh, ¿Desde dónde? ¿Desde el carrito desde rosa? Desde el carro. De, de, ajá, del carrito, ajá. Sí, que como son las niñas estudiantes, tienen carro. Así que no tienen que caminar. Gustito. No, we are chica paz. Yo, yo le estoy dando autorización, así que yo corro con los gastos. <risa> Go up. Let's go back to the main session. Hello, hello. Hey, Anna Elizabeth, what happened? Irma is sleeping. <laughs> uh -huh, Irma. <laughs> oh, la teacher. Mm, she was asleep. <laughs> volunteer, volunteer. No. En que estaba cocinando. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, thank you. So let's mm -hmm. see. Welcome back, people. So I need the volunteers here who can help me with this one. All right. Who are the volunteers? Let's see, let's see. Oh, thank you, Carla Menina Lopez. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right. So, Carla, who are you working with? With Andre and Maria Pifani. Oh, thank you. All right. Go ahead. I like that team. All right. Good job. Le cedo la palabra a Andre. ¿Cómo? Yo, yo le di tarea, yo no sé. All right. So let me play it right there. All right. Aquí vamos a manejar. Yes. Vamos a manejar entonces. Uh, tell me what name, no sé, a dónde queremos ir, a dónde quieren ir, muchachas, las voy a llevar en el carro. Mm. To the store. To the store. And okay. where are you, the hotel? No. Yes, yes, teacher, it's a red car. Yes, teacher. Right. So where do we so go? Okay. Ok. Entonces, eh, ah, pues aquí vas a reseñalar el camino. Yes, go ahead, tell me. Ah, ok. Va, entonces, eh, try, go ahead, two blocks. Two blocks is like one, two. Ok, turn right. Ok. Eh, the next, turn left. And the next, eh, turn right. Strike, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, the next to right. Uh, go ahead, one block more. Uh, turn left. Uh, no, te dice porque la izquierda es hacia el otro lado. <laughs> Así, ¿no? Dice porque el carro viene hacia abajo. Bueno, que el día yo, ¿no? Uh, the next uh, turn right go straight ahead there you go there you go excellent right 
Yes, like this one. All right. Llegamos, llegamos. Thank you. Thank you. That was actually very good. Excellent. Thank you. One more here. All right. Thank you, Andrew. That was good. So, Nancy, let's say thank you very much for being the next volunteer. Uh -huh. Guide the car. <laughs> thank you, Andrew. Well, Andrew. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nancy, Nancy. <gasps> Nancy disappeared. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, Elvis. <laughs> okay, Elvis. Te pregunto. <clears throat> uh, um, uh, how can I get from a store to a school? Okay, that is an amazing question. Uh, okay. Uh, First of all, go straight around two quarters. You mean two blocks? I remember that are quarters, but a lot blocks. <laughs> and then turn on left. And then turn right. There you go. Easy. Find the school at the left. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. That was actually super, 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 super good. All right. Excellent. So, my friend, thank you very much, everybody, for participating in the activities tonight. All right. So, it was just a review here. All right. And eh, los felicito. Right. Han hecho un, un trabajo espectacular durante todo el curso. Right. And eh, I just want to like encourage you, motivaros a que termine todos los demás módulos y que por supuesto puedan hacer el poco más el tiempo para participar dentro de las actividades que tengan en, um, en el curso, right? Para que eh, puedan mejorar también su nivel de fluidez, you know, su pronunciación y que puedan estar más activos en la clase, right? Sin embargo, felicito también a muchas de las personas que están como oyentes acá porque han llevado a cabo sus tareas y han tenido muy buenas notas. All right, así que congratulations as well. Thank you a todos los que eh, sentían siempre la cámara, right? No solo los conozco y a los otros, pues, solo lo veo y que sea oyente, pero igual, nice to meet you. All right, so, and, uh, well, it was a pleasure, people. We are going to stop right here because it's time to go to sleep, all right? And it was a pleasure. Cualquier duda, consulta, o que yo les pueda ayudar, con muchísimo gusto, yo eh, estoy ahí para ayudarles, all right? Have a wonderful night. Take care and congratulations. No olviden hacer el test final, please. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Good Cheer. Bye-bye. See you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, Nice too. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, sir. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, my friend. See you later. Bye -bye. Ooh, thank you. Bye-bye.